Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused You must think I've got to be joking when I say I don't think I can wait, I just need it now Welcome back to my channel. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so to see any future looks like this. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes using the Too Faced Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I really wanna give my eyeshadow a smooth application. So pretty much for this entire look, I'm gonna be using an eyeshadow palette that I got from Ulta Beauty's So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this brown shade right here sorry that these these shades don't have the names on them like at all I guess they just weren't ever named but I'm gonna go ahead and use that shade as my transition color on my outer corner I'm gonna go in with this burgundy shade right here and only put that on my outer just really focus all the attention right there on the end I'm gonna take this light peachy shade right here ah, right there and I am going to blend that back at the top where we first put that kind of like that bronzy color and I know that don't look super bright just now when I did that but <laughs> don't worry about it it'll blend I want this look to be kind of like kind of cranberry like something something that you'd wear on Thanksgiving so at least when your uncle asks you why you ain't got a man, why you ain't got no boyfriend, you can say, but my face beat though. So he on the way. So now I'm going to add um, some of my Pro Longwear Paint Pop from MAC. Y'all, like I love MAC Cosmetics. So now I'm going to go back on my outer corner with this same burgundy shade right here. I'm going to use a smaller crease brush just so I can really pack, pack, pack. Blend, blend, blend. Y'all ever feel like your blending game is way better on one eye than the other? Like, we're gonna continue and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Very peachy tone. And the pigment is there, honey, it's there. I am going to go in with this lovely highlighting shade. Now to apply some line. Y'all, I suck. I'm putting on liner so I'm gonna be using Lena lashes in the style Jackie I'm gonna think I'm jokey but I literally never wear lashes so this will be my like first time wearing lashes ever ever so y'all bear with me It's expensive um, but it's a really good primer though especially if you have um, oily to combination skin like myself I'm gonna go in and I'm going to color correct my face and I am going to be using my Mac correct and conceal palette and I'm gonna be taking this orange shade right here I'm going to go on with my foundation, my Fenty Beauty in the shade 430. I really do see why people, you know, they gravitate to these lashes, honey. I mean, they definitely, they definitely, definitely dramatize, dramatize, dramatize the look. <laughs> they definitely bring your whole makeup look together. I am going to go ahead and conceal a little bit using the Too Faced Super Coverage, same shade as before, Chestnut. Just going to put it on the high points of my face. I just recently launched my YouTube channel and I had wanted to do a YouTube channel for like two years now, maybe more than that probably at this point, but I was just like, oh no. The market is too saturated. There's so many people trying to do makeup on YouTube. There's so many people sharing their opinions 
about different products that who's actually going to be left to purchase these products you know until my friend well my best friend actually who just got accepted into school at LIM in New York City hey Sam um she was like when you go to Walmart or when you go to Harris Teeter and you go down the bread aisle how many different types of bread are there and I was like a lot why and she was like do you think one bread company decided not to make their version of bread just because there were other bread companies and I was like girl look at you trying to share a word today trying to be pastor baker and I was like okay by the way I'm using this MAC prep and conceal palette in the shade NW55 as my um, contour shade so, basically I guess I'm telling you all this just to say if there's anything that you've been thinking about doing that you really want to do but there's all these things that are making you second guess yourself and making you think oh maybe I shouldn't do that do it <laughs> and for underneath my eyes i'm actually going to use a different setting powder i'm going to use the laura mercy a it's the secret brightening powder for underneath the eyes and what i really like about this is that it's banana based so very similar to the sasha buttercup powder however it has like these little shimmering flecks like they're so pretty and it's like it's not like a highlighter like it's not super super bright where it's going to compete with your highlighter and it's not super bright where like people are going to think you have glitter underneath your eyes but it's just something just to give like a little <laughs> I don't know what that was, but a little a little dizzle dazzle, a little razzle dazzle underneath the eyes. The only thing about it though is that this junk costs like $29. So it's more expensive than the Sasha Buttercup powder. And as you saw when I held up the container, it's smaller. So it's like you're paying more money for less product. I'm going to use this MAC Mineralized Foundation in the shade dark deep like an all over face powder one of my favorite bronzers ever is the morphe bronzer in the shade fabulous it's like amazing for brown skin like y'all so it has the bronzer on this side and then like a blush like a shimmer blush shade on the other side Sometimes I kind of just put my powder brush in both <laughs> and just like, just swirl it. So I am going to use my Featherweight powder brush from Sephora. It's number 91 if you want to check it out. It's super expensive y'all, but I got it during the Sephora VIB sale because like when I used to work there I used to always have it in my brush belt and I was like yo whenever I get the coins to buy this I'm gonna buy it I mean I still ain't got the coins but I talked myself into saying like oh I need it just because I had like what like 15 or 20 percent off or something like that so I, look at that you see how that looks on brown skin y'all like if you have not gone to Ulta and like looked at these bronzers that Morphe has like I don't know what you're doing <laughs> but it's literally like a life-changing bronzer I kid you not we're gonna be going into my all-time favorite my Mac gold deposit highlighter uh, but you know what before I do that I'm gonna spray a little bit of my Mario Badescu my facial spray with the aloe cucumber and green tea Give this highlighter that that super glue that super deeper glue hey okay guys and to finish off the look i'm going to be using a mac satin lipstick it's going to be in the shade media okay thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this look please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe stay tuned for my upcoming videos bye guys